Today we're gonna be making some chicken pozole verde. I really like this approachable recipe uh, because it's minimal prep, doesn't take that long, and it really yields great results. The reference recipe I used is linked down below along with the list of ingredients. Let's get into it. Start by adding salt and pepper to both sides of the chicken thighs, then in a large pot on medium-high heat, add some oil. We are going to brown our chicken thighs in batches for about two minutes on each side. This first step is optional and not in the recipe link below, but I feel like we can get some extra flavor going this route. Add some extra oil if you need to, and set your chicken aside when all sides are browned. Next, we'll add our rough chopped onion with some salt and a bit of chicken stock to deglaze our pot and sweat these onions. After a couple of minutes of sweating, we'll add our chicken and all the juices back to the pot along with our jalapenos, tomatillos, two boxes or eight cups of chicken stock, homemade if you got it, of course. I also added about three to four cups of water because I noticed my broth tended to run a little low on previous versions of this recipe. Add a couple tablespoons of oregano. I like to give it a good rub to release some of that good flavor and add a couple pinches of salt. Give your pot a stir and bring it to a boil. Once you've got a rolling boil, bring it down to simmer for about 40 minutes. While our soup simmers, we can work on prepping the garnish. Separate your bunch of cilantro in half, setting one aside and then chopping the other. Chop your radishes to your preferred size. Slice your cabbage as long or short as you prefer. Dice your remaining three jalapenos. Shout out D Vein Gang, remove those seeds and veins if you want to keep it a little milder. Next, slice your limes into eighths or your preferred cut. And the last bit of prep is rinsing our two cans of hominy. Back to our soup. After 40 minutes, use tongs and a slotted spoon to pull the chicken and veg into separate bowls. While the jalapenos, tomatillos, and onion cools down, use two forks to shred that chicken. If you've never done it, this is a great gateway to the wonder of shredding. There isn't much of a trick to it either, I really just pin down a piece with one fork while pulling away with the other one. But feel free to experiment with your shredding and see what works best for you. Set your chicken aside and grab your blender. Add the jalapenos, tomatillos, and onion along with the other half bunch of cilantro and get those blended, buddy. Look at that, some green salsa magic right there. Add the shredded chicken back to your pot Add your hominy and add that green gold to the pot. Set it to medium high and let that cook for another 15 minutes. During this last leg, taste your broth and add salt if needed. I'm pretty happy with where the flavor is on this one, so we are all set. See how it turned out. I love this soup. Ooh, got a little bit of spice from the jalapenos, a little bit of tang from the tomatillos, and then the lime kind of just really blends everything together. And I like the texture from the cabbage and also the radishes, sort of give it, give it a little bit of crunch. And then you get bits of the hominy and the uh, the chicken and it's just, it's like a real, it's kind of, I don't know, soul soup, you know, fills you up, warms you up uh, from the inside. Uh, man, I think I'm fogging up a little bit. 
I think this is probably the fifth time I've made this soup. Uh, you know, you'd think I'd be tired of it, but uh, it really is kind of my go-to right now. And who, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget, devein gang. If you want to manage some of that temperature, just uh, de-seed, devein those jalapenos, and you should be uh, a little better off. And then also, if you're uh, sensitive to cilantro, I feel like if you held the cilantro. Um, you'd probably be just as good and I think it'll still taste pretty pretty great as always Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one